Hi, and welcome back to Music Messages Tarot, Gemini. This video is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And I'm sorry that the cards I'm shuffling may be a little bit loud, um, but I'm going to be trying to shuffle on camera for you. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and the videos are technically timeless, so whenever you come across this message, you're most likely meant to hear it. We're going to jump right in. So right away we have the Queen of Cups. I'm feeling that somebody has a lot of love and romantic feelings towards you, Gemini. I'm just going to adjust this. Um, this might also be reflective of your feelings for somebody right now, but I am getting that someone has a very romantic view of you. This might be a water sign, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. So you or someone around you is coming into this time of healing and reflection after what may have felt like um, a stressful period, um, a period where you were dealing with some kind of heartache or betrayal. Maybe some of you are coming through a breakup right now. Um, but the good news is, like I said before, someone around you is having these really intensely romantic feelings for you. You may or may not know who this person is, and I'm getting a strong message that for some of you, you might not actually know that this person has these feelings for you. So kind of like secret admirer type vibes here. And then the nine of pentacles. You're coming across as very independent, abundant, um, not really needing much from the outside world right now. Even if you are in this phase of healing, where maybe you don't feel like you're at your strongest emotionally from the outside, you're appearing very strong, very independent. Nobody's really picking up on um, any of any emotional pain that you may be going through at the moment. So if you're dealing with this, you know, um, on your own or in private, it's not something that is being conveyed to other people around you because you're still coming across as this nine of pentacles energy which is a beautiful energy to be in. Okay, five of cups. Yeah, I'm getting that some of you are in a period of heartbreak that you're coming out of. Others of you though, whoever this queen of cups is around you that has incredibly romantic feelings for you, this person may be feeling a little bit brokenhearted right now. Um, I did see the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling. So this person might be feeling very left out of your life. Um, and just kind of excluded from your energy, excluded from you. Yeah, it's putting them in this very brokenhearted state of melancholy right now where they're just wishing that they can find some way in to connect with you. This might be the person, if you did have a breakup, it might be the person trying to figure out how to come back. Just got that message for some of you, and I just heard the name David for someone else. Eight of Cups. Some of you walked away from something recently, and that is what has you in this Four of Swords. Some of this Five of Cups energy may very well be yours as well. Um, I think you're coming across as this Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles too. So some of this Queen of Cups energy is just who you are on a deeper level. You're a very empathetic person. You are very loving, and again, you're coming across as very abundant and independent, but I do pick up that there's at least one person around you that has deep-seated romantic feelings for you. We have the judgment card coming out, so whatever you went through recently, judgment is being called on this situation um, in your favor. So if somebody treated you wrong, if there was a betrayal, that's going to come out, and um, that person's going to be receiving their karma. Okay, and you're going to be receiving karmic justice for whatever that situation was. I'm really most interested here on this Queen of Cups energy because I do pick up a separate energy attached to it. And the Ten of Pen Pentacles just flipped out as I was clarifying on it. So this could be somebody in your family. So in this case, it may be a romantic partner. Um... It could also, for some of you, be like a family member who is very emotionally supportive, who you've, who you've been able to lean on heavily during this time. Um, I get that for most of you, though. Whoever this Queen of Cups energy is, is somebody that you have Ten of Pentacles potential with. So somebody that you can possibly have a long-term connection with and, and even possibly a family eventually. 
So beautiful energy, whoever this is, whoever this is attached to. And I do get that for many of you. It is a, a potential new romantic partner. Um, the Hermit in Reverse. So this might be somebody, it's Virgo energy. It might also be someone who's coming out of a time of um, isolation. This could also be you, Gemini. So as you're coming out of this time of healing, I sense that you're going to be coming into contact with whoever this Queen of Cups energy is. And I know I've specified on many of the videos before, but the gender doesn't matter. So um, if you resonate more as a divine feminine energy, um, the Queen of Cups could still be attached to a divine masculine energy. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be male, female. Okay, so let's get some information here on this Four of Swords. I think this is pretty much a very clear cut message today for your mid month, but let's see. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. You're feeling disappointed by some kind of previous romantic situation here. Um, it may have been with a water sign, but doesn't have to be. I feel like you had very high hopes for this situation, and this person may have come in initially in a very kind of like I'm hearing love bombing. So someone who's come, who came in love bombing you, and you kind of mistook that for the real thing. When in actuality, it was someone who was being maybe a little manipulative with the love bombing and didn't turn out to be the person that they presented on the surface at first. Um, someone who seemed very overly romantic when they first came into your life, but ended up being false, a false person or deceitful in some way or betraying you in some way. And I feel like you're dealing with this healing from this betrayal and this disappointment right now. Page of Cups. This person that you were involved with could have been a little bit younger than you. I am getting very strong water sign energy here. Um, you or this person may be very creative people. I'm picking up on you, especially being a very creative person. Um, and during this time of healing, you may have, if you haven't done this already, you may want to think about doing it. It's good advice. You may want to tap into some kind of creative outlet during this time. Um, maybe rediscover some of your talents, some skills that you've put on the back burner, or maybe learn a new skill. Um, because I'm just picking up a heavy message for somebody that your creativity and um, your ability to create things is incredibly healing for you as a person. And, and you would really benefit from that right now. Okay, um, the person that you were dealing with, again, might be a little bit younger than you are. And again, I am picking up a very heavy water sign energy. Also someone who's very creative. So that may or may not resonate. Let's get some information here on this nine of pentacles, Gemini. We have the nine of cups in reverse. So you're feeling like you had that nine of cups moment with whoever this previous romantic partner was, but then it kind of eluded you or escaped you. Um, so it has you in this Five of Cups. I do get that this Five of Cups relates to you as well. The good news is you do have um, the, Queen of, the Queen of Cups energy here coming towards you. So that's incredibly powerful. High Priestess energy. So that's Piscean energy. Um, yeah, you, you've felt the need to go within during this time period, during this event, during whatever this struggle has been in your life. You've gone within. I feel like you've regained some of your strength by reconnecting with yourself again. You're being urged to listen to your intuition as well. So if, if you're, you know, I know sometimes when we go through a breakup or a difficult situation that puts us in a very negative emotional headspace, overthinking can be really detrimental. So there is a need to kind of tap into your intuition. It's gonna guide you in the right direction and it's gonna be guiding you towards whoever this Queen of Cups energy is, okay? So don't get too stuck in your head like reminiscing about why this didn't work out for you or um, thinking in a way that will make you manifest negative things. Like don't start negative thought patterns, especially as an air sign. I know that we can do that sometimes. So don't start indulging in those negative thought patterns that will eventually you know, could eventually have you manifesting negative things into your 3D physical world. This is a time to go within, connect with your inner self, listen to your intuition about what is going to serve you, what's going to be healing to you right now. 
Okay, that's the message that I'm getting there. Let's clarify on this Five of Cups. I do get that this is your energy. This might be whoever your secret admirer energy is too. Gemini, yeah. Oh, three of, three of Swords on the Five of Cups. I think this is you. This is you. You're feeling very betrayed, brokenhearted. Some of you can't... Um, you can't even understand what went wrong in this situation and how you guys kind of ended up here and maybe how you didn't see through somebody through somebody's facade that they were putting on. I'm, I'm hearing the word mask. So I'm getting that whoever this previous person was that you were romantically linked to was wearing some kind of mask. You feel deceived by them in some way. And it has you really brokenhearted right now. But again, you do have this beautiful Queen of Cups, possible Ten of Pentacles connection coming towards you, which is really a, a nice, beautiful, strong energy to start this reading with. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles coming out again. So this is your energy, Gemini. All right, and I'm really sorry for whoever is going through the, you know, this situation. Breakups can be tough, even if you weren't with the person for a very long time. You know, they can be tough. Excuse me, I just needed to take some water. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really sorry if that's you going through this, but um, I think it was a good thing that you walked away from this person um, it, this Queen of Cups energy might be attached to the person that you had a breakup with or falling out with, and it might have your tower moment with this person, even though we don't have the tower on the table, that energy did come out for today's daily reading. Um, your tower moment with this person may have been a wake up call. So this Queen of Cups energy might be the same person kind of like getting their, their shit together and coming back around to you in a more healed and mature way. For others of you, though, this is going to be a completely separate energy coming toward you. Let's get some information here on the Eight of Cups. Seven of Swords. You felt deceived. You felt like this person was deceitful to you. So that is why you walked away. I'm getting a clear betrayal here in some uh, capacity. Maybe this person was unfaithful. Or maybe they just weren't who they said they were in some way. I did hear the word mask before. I'm hearing the name Robert as well. Temperance. Yeah, this really required you to go within and find your own balance internally. I think you're still dealing with that process. You are regaining your footing. You're still in this healing phase. But um, you're on your way out of that now. And when you emerge, that is when this Queen of Cups beautiful romantic connection is going to come in. Like I said before, whether it's with a new partner or with this previous person who may have been uh, inspired by you walking away from them to get their shit together. Let's get some information on the judgment card here. What does Gemini need to know about the judgment coming to this situation? You have the magician in reverse. Some of you felt like you were banging your head against the wall. Like maybe you started seeing this person in a new light and like towards the end of whatever your relationship or romantic connection was with them, you started seeing them in a new light and maybe this is someone who's very good at kind of deceiving other people around them. So other people didn't necessarily see what you were seeing. Um, and also you just felt like you couldn't you weren't enough to keep the relationship going in a positive and healthy way, okay? And one partner should never have to bear that burden without the other partner's contribution and effort and being a genuine person. So that's just what I'm picking up here today from that card. Yeah, it put you in a nine of swords, okay? This situation has heavily stressed you out. Um, again, though, with the four of swords having come out first, I do feel like you're in this, sorry, period of heal healing right now um but it did have you in a nine of swords and also your person the person that you left this romantic situation with is also in a nine of swords right now and they feel like there's nothing they can do to get you back like they effed up royally here and like i think they know they have karma coming to them because what they did was really unfair and deceitful to you in some way all right um, we're going to pull one oracle card, and I am going to read from the guidebook because we're just pulling one final card. The good news, Gemini, though, before I go into the oracle reading, the good news is 
you do have a queen of cups romantic energy very somebody with very very romantic feelings coming towards you again that's who you are internally as well you're a very empathetic compassionate just beautiful person is what i'm picking up today but there is somebody who has seen you as their ten of pentacles potential this could be the same person like i said before or it could be an entirely new connection coming toward you um, just focus on healing yourself right now. Focus on doing things that serve you. Like I said, for some of you, the the door to your own happiness and healing right now may be through some kind of creative project or building up your skills in, in a specific area. But when you emerge, yeah, this butterfly is standing out to me right now. So this butterfly imagery kind of represents you emerging from this time period um, in a in a renewed way okay it was it was painful for you but you're going to be coming out of it stronger and you do have a very promising romantic connection coming toward you so that's what you have to look forward to now i don't want this to come across like a negative reading per se what i'm picking up on is whatever pain or heartache you've gone through it's past influence so you're you're aware of this already it's not like new information that i'm giving you if it hasn't happened, I don't think this is your reading. So whoever this is going to resonate for, you, you've you already been through this. And you're on the tail end of the healing process right now. Okay. So it's actually with this Queen of Cups energy coming towards you, you're coming into this beautiful positive phase. Right. I don't want to scare anyone with some of the things that came through. We have Lemon Balm Nurture. Okay. And right away... I'm picking up the message from your guides that you do need to be nurturing yourself. Some of you have already been doing that, um, but just continue to nurture yourself through this process. The number 52 might be significant for someone. Okay. Upright, this card signifies Earth Mother, access to the ways of the Earth, planetary guardian, balance of feelings and emotions and nurturance and the guidance says give yourself permission to mother the deepest core of yourself so yeah a lot of self-care messages coming through for you today gemini listen to your inner child retrieve the unconscious parts of your past forgive yourself and liberate the inner child that has remained silenced Lemon Balm assists us in reconnecting to the gentle power of nurturance. Her soft and gentle touch reminds us to connect to the Great Mother in her all shapes and forms. So I'm inserting here that it might also be important to connect with nature in some way um, during your healing process. Okay, Gemini? The medicine of honeybee is here to serve you, prompting you to ask yourself, where can I soften and, re and receive? How can I access my inner child to access great wholeness? Honeybee symbolizes the magic of nectar, vitality, prosperity, and the great inner and outer wealth that is ahead. Okay, so definitely a clear message. You're moving into this beautiful, abundant energy, and I am getting that for a lot of you. That's through your personal healing, but also um, it's referring to your romantic abundance as well. All right. Um, but like the message said, you're going to have to continue taking some time to nurture yourself right now. For some of you, that's going to be through connecting with nature. For others, I am getting a strong message again around some kind of create creativity, creative project, some kind of skill that you can develop during this time. Um, this is a side message, but I did pick up while I was reading that, that someone might benefit from the use of honey in some way. I'm not a doctor, so always consult with your physician or the appropriate professional before doing anything like that. Honey can be incredibly beneficial in a variety of ways, particularly skincare products. So that might that might relate to someone. Okay, so honey honey is um, it naturally soothes, it naturally heals. So that might be something that can benefit someone listening today. All right, I know that's kind of a random side thought there, but that's what's coming through. Um, I, other than that, I really hope this was helpful and that it resonated with you in some way. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow, Gemini. And um, other than that, though, I'm wishing you peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.